Thanks for joining us right here on our range. This morning, we're doing some trajectory validation on the much anticipated seven millimeter, 195 grain hybrid bullet. Now we've got one of our extreme long range hunters. Uh, we're doing our validation out to a thousand yards today. We've got about a varying four to seven mile an hour wind situation. Uh, it's about 60 degrees. So it's a, a pretty decent day to do this work. Now, what we've come across here is, uh, is a situation that's not a lot talked about and it's something that I have a real strict rule of thumb about uh, when doing trajectory validation uh, is doing only two shot cold bore scenarios. Uh, we often get asked, how do you guarantee a cold bore shot uh, that's gonna create a one shot kill? Well, simple answer is only test cold bore situations, right? Uh, you wouldn't take your rifle on the range and fire half a box through it and expect that it would react the same when it's you know 20 or 30 or 40 degrees and it may be only one shot you get on a hunt. So in order to simulate or, or create a scenario that's gonna be mimicked in the field in a situation where we might take a thousand yard shot on a big buck or a bull and it's the first and, and only shot we're gonna, we're gonna take to try to cleanly kill this animal, uh, we've gotta make sure that we do all of our trajectory validation off of cold bore shots. Otherwise, uh, the information that we that we use further down the road or in the next hunting season won't be exactly correct. So I have a pretty strict rule that I don't fire any more than two shots at any given rifle. So you'll see that we have the seven mil here that we're that we're doing our testing and then we have a 300 ultra uh, that we might use during the season as well. So I use two guns so that I can be productive with my time and I'll alternate so that I don't fire any more than two shots through each one and then I set the other one aside and let it cool down and, and on we go and try to get this done uh, primarily in the morning when the weather conditions are fairly cool. So again we got the seven mil ultra and the extreme long range hunter. Uh, this is some of the first rounds fired and tested with the 195 grain hybrid. We're going to get down on the rifle and take a couple cold bore shots at a thousand. All right, well, you guys can see uh, from the target with the, the two shots that were on it before we began there, that was working with the 300, just validating and getting it on. And then I'd, I'd set it aside, like I'd mentioned earlier, to let it cool down. Now, I would say the proof is in the pudding because by doing this process, uh, granted, I'm looking through a 25 magnification scope, but it would appear that we just shot a two to three inch two shot group. So at a thousand, uh, that would be clearly acceptable to one shot kill any animal on the planet. Uh, this process works. It's something that uh, I've fundamentally adopted for a lot of years. For this case in point is, let's go ahead and cold bore test our rifle. Let's not fire any more than two rounds so that the barrel does not get hot. Therefore, when we're out in the field and we've got that shot of a lifetime and the rifle has not been fired previously, you've got confidence that the Intel and the data that you're, you're, you know, is in your rangefinder, it's correlating to the rifle, is all gonna jive and it's all gonna make that one shot. Now back to the show. 